So let's get started. Okay. So like I said, we're here at the point where we are going to make sure our breakfast got ordered and we're going to leave Tatooine. We want to go to Yavin because Yavin is where we're going to go to get rid of the girl. Do I be speed running any of the Super Nintendo games? I don't want to speed run anything. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Popcorn. Kalo Nord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Karath. But the failure was Kalo's, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. Alive if possible. Can you help me with my little stowaway problem? I'm confident that you can deal with that on your own. Okay, well, we'll do our best. Okay, let us see what is going on. Who's gonna come with us? I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh. That's not good enough, Suvo. We know you have more. What? You can't just rewrite our agreement whenever you feel like it. The exchange won't stand for it. The exchange doesn't open to dictate orders anymore, Suvo. Oh yeah, I need to take her to Dantooine, not, not here. A stranger, you haven't been telling us everything? Now you have, Suvo. Now have you, Suvo. Tell you everything? What are you talking about? I don't have to clear everything through you. I don't know why I was thinking you haven't. What's going on here, Suvo? They're trying to extort me, that's what. They think that just because the exchange is gone, they can take whatever they want from me. We are renegotiating our contract. Look, if you're going to blast him, at least cut me in on something. I don't think so, human. You know what we want, Suvum. Give it to us or next time we'll take it by force. Think on this before inviting any more of your friends. The Trandoshans, they can be impulsive sometimes. They mean well, though. They really do. The new ones have just been getting greedy as all. Well. At least I ended up in one piece, right? Here, I'll let you look at some of the stuff I was saving for them. I'm definitely not going to give it to them now. Dude, look at how much freaking damage immunity 100% versus cold fire Sonic. But what about taking cold or fire damage? Dude, his stuff is so good, but it is expensive. Okay, we're gonna go with Dan Tween. That was my mistake. Ruby, thank you for the part, dude. I did, Basu. Let's talk to Bastila. How can I help? Uh, never mind. Can I suggest? Let's find the girl. Hello, girl. Where are you at, girl? Run right away, little girl. Pass it, <laughs> Communicate with Sasha in her language. Hmm. I'm tired of this game. I want you off my ship. Look, I can't understand you. You have to go. I don't have time for this. Out. Love you, S fan, but I can't watch you play as an evil Sith. I've tried it a couple times, but I can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> how how is it evil? These people that I kill, they deserve to die. No, no, Lur Arca, this is the guy. Greetings, sentient. May I take a moment of your time for a question? 
Only if I get something in return. As you desire, though I suspect there is little information I possess that would be of use to an offworlder such as yourself. I represent a human citizen of Dantooine by the name of Rundle of Solom. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for many years. His young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not yet been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. Sorry, I have no idea who you're talking about. That is too bad. I'll have to continue my search. I'll keep an eye out for your girl. There's a stowaway on my ship by the name of Sasha. What? Why? I, will, I wanted to see if I could, like, squeeze him for a few more gold, you know what I mean? For a few more credits. This is the most exciting news, Sentient. Are you certain of this? Uh... I am if the reward is sufficient. Alas, I have nothing in the way of a reward to offer you, Sentient. Sasha's human father has fallen on difficult times since her kidnapping. I would give you credits of my own, but I also have nothing. I cannot stop you from holding the human girl. I can only plead with you to release her. Are you certain that this human girl is Sasha Sentient? Please do tell me. <laughs> Look, I'll drive her off the ship later. Maybe you can find her then and see for yourself. You are a very cruel human. I shall have to watch your vessel and hopefully see if the human girl leaves. If you hurt her, human, if you hurt her, I hope you suffer for it. Uh, yes, I am. She only speaks a smattering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. You have convinced me, Sentian, that your stowaway is indeed the one I seek. Would you allow me to see her? Only if I get something in return for my trouble. I have nothing to offer you. Might you, you not reconsider? All right, fine. Just get her off my ship. Let's go there now. I am most anxious to see her. Though you have aged, young sentient, I do believe you are indeed the one I seek. I am here to return you to your father. I see the fan solo was correct about your linguistic difficulties. I am positive that your parents can assist you with that. I see that fan solo was correct about your... Oh. Laraka Nabads. Na Gissin Laisfa Sasha. Just go, I've had enough of this. Selima Wanga Kunbikin. Tong Hait Wam Jiji Jum Lumpa. Nita Poe Tikito. Dolpa da Bongwaleo Gondona Chu Chut. Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga. Yumalita Kuto Dun. Jilamulan Nidu Bobo. Wanga Kumbis Jang Ba Mulira. We are about to start the next map, the next world. We have two worlds left. We have Manon and Korriban. So let's hit Manon. Dupes. What is this? Oh, oh, star map. Yeah, it will wet diaper, it will. I haven't uploaded yet, but I will. Another vision. Another vision. Oh. The force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. So they share visions. He, him and her share visions. So if we if he sees a vision asleep, she also sees it. Maybe the land was once above the surface. It is possible. The melting of polar caps or a cataclysmic earthquake could have buried the land beneath the waves eons ago. Records from that time are incomplete. The ocean floor is vast and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay. 
The songs are so you good. Public people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators it's deign to event. give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you. you just call them a ruled simp. over by the straw <laughs> like we sit. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. <laughs> try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the cell cath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. War Chief, thanks for giving us that to Moonstrudel. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Why do the Sith upset you so much? Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Huh. The Sith and the Republic are coexisting peacefully? Well, relatively. Peacefully? <laughs> not hardly. Just look in their eyes. You can see they'd like nothing more than to kill each and every one of us. Personal-like. <laughs> Well, I think they mean well. They're just a little misguided. <laughs> you're, you're joking, right? The smug hut spawn push us every chance they can get and enjoy it. And there's nothing we can do, though. The Selkath want to maintain their neutrality, and they enforce it very strictly. So we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions, and that could lose us the war altogether. What is Colto? <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. I mean, it's it's the most my powerful drops. healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. Wait, the, the Republic and the Sith both stay here. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Have you seen an ancient star map? A uh, star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Wait, Is why there anything you... else I can do for you? Why do you assume that it's an ancient artifact? All right, well, never mind, I gotta go. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic hey, diplomat. That's cool dude. He's by the Republic Enclave near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are sleeping. a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. I'm aware of the Republic's indignation. However, witness reports they clearly... They provoked, Your Frick. Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. I find both the Republic and the Sith to be equally at fault for the breach of the peace. I should throw all parties involved in the Auto City Jail. No. The court is dismissed, though. I warn that you further disturbances will not be viewed with such leniency. Roland Wan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. Perhaps you can help oh, me. Oh, of bit. course. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. I seek a star map, the remnant of an ancient forgotten race. An ancient race. and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. 
But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Uh, you want to tell me? Don't think you can manipulate me, Jedi. Oh, frick. The Republic Diplomatic Corps has to deal with the Sith all the time, so we're very resistant to mental influence. Your only real choice is to help me so I can help you. What do you want me to do? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. How can I get in the Sith there base? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Uh, interrogating the prisoner sounds good. Good. It's a logical place to start. Real good. But you should also hear about the other options available to you. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data Yes, cards, Mr. Roman, that's true. The type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Decrypting the pass card that sounds good. Uh, is there another way? The Sith have got the Seldcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very oh, nice. heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Hmm. I think I'll interrogate the prisoner. Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your yes. Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him. Or, what do you want? Relax. I'm not here to, no, I'm not gonna say that. Maybe we should do something about Tella. Tila? Oh, How did you find out about her? We have her already, but she may be spared if you talk. No, never. Damn, he blanked out. Inject him with the neutralizing agent and start over. Or, what do you want? Look. Maybe we should do something about Tila. Tila? How did you find out about her? Talk or something may happen to her. Do whatever you want. I know you will fail. My fellow Sith are probably even now trying to free me. Well, we could make it easy for both of us. For both of you here in the Republic. Yes. It could be so much off. easier. Let's try something else. Interact him with neutralizing agents. Start over with a new dose of truth here. Uh, or... What do you want? Relax, I'm not here to threaten you. You're not? <laughs> you... lies. You work for the Republic. Look, I don't want to hurt you unless you make me. There's nothing you can do to me, Jedi, that the Sith wouldn't do worse. I'm not afraid of you. If you talk, we can make it you worth your while. You think me weak enough to give in to false promises of wealth and riches? The Sith are stronger than that. We will have it all eventually anyway. We're the only ones who will take you in now. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. You know what I think it We're is? We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. I am Sith. I will never betray them. Your Republic is weak. It's a puzzle. And will soon fall at any rate. Guys, it's a, it's a puzzle. Boy, what do you want? Ugh. Ugh. So, I think what happens is, like, I have to go and I hit the things that are successes, and then that's how you move on. We know about your companion. Or, Perhaps we would give you back the Sith, but keep him. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily, but they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. You can't do this to me. They would kill me in ways too horrible for you to imagine. And we could give you back the Sith, but keep him. Of course, him. they would never believe we let you go so easily, but they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. 
What's the passcode to the Nice, six we eight? figured it out. It's Zeta two four five. Chat, write this down. Six nine eight alpha. Just no more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long, or they might learn that he's been captured. Sith Embassy. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? I have a pass card. I know the pass code. I don't have to tell you. I have higher authority. Here, let's be here. I wonder if Force Persuade is not going to work on her. Should I try it? We are authorized to be here. You! I don't oh, frick. you. I know the face of every Sith on this planet. We'll get to the bottom of this. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. Oh. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them. And their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! For, and I'm solo. I'm, there's no way I'm gonna survive this. Okay. Force shield. I already have a speed buff, I think. Force shield. Flurry on her. Then I will throw a frag grenade here, a frag grenade here. Lightning. She's dead. A med pack on myself. And then I will recast. Oh, she's putting so. One grenade. I'll cast four speed on myself. Another one. After I cast the four speed again, I will go and I will do an attack on this guy. More speed, attack. Why did I not force jump? Force lightning. Okay, boom. Through here, right there, and then I'll come back and I will flurry him. Oh. Nice. Okay, this is bad. Um, concussion grenade. Concussion grenade. Attack these guys. Force jump. Force jump. Okay, nice. 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 Very good. Look at that, dude. Grenadier. Okay, good. Broken droid. Data mo module. Journal entry added. Let's watch. Tell Josh of the Sith. What? What happened? This tortured Selkath was holding some sort of token. I found this token on a dead Selkath inside the Sith base. I recognize that token. That's from Gallus, one of the youths who went missing. You found that in their embassy? The Sith have been taking them! 
The court will adjourn for a brief period to verify this evidence and discuss its importance. We have verified that this token was indeed from Dallas, indicating the complicity of the Sith in the disappearances of our young. In gratitude for having discovered this heinous offense, all charges against you regarding this incident will be dropped. Pending a suitable penalty against the Sith, their embassy is considered off limits to all Otto City security personnel. No calls or incidents from their base will be attended to unless this matter is dealt with, as they are no longer subject to the protections of Selkath law. You have been found innocent and may leave as you desire. The trial is now over. Vassal, are you good? Vassal. Look, I, I know you said you're having trouble hiding your feelings for me, but this is getting a little bit out of hand. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. Have you managed Roland to retrieve Juan the data from our droid in the Sith base? I did. Yep, here it is. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. What has the Republic done? The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kolto exports, but a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. You violated the treaty? Shh, not so loud. Yes, it is a technical violation of the treaty, but it is sanctioned by elements of the Selkath government. We need only to keep it hidden from the Sith. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kolto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, uh, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. Why have you not investigated? Er, what has this got to do with me? Please, just let me explain. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what <laughs> happened to the Rackard Rift station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. How will I get down there? I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. Okay, we're going to use that. We're going to go down, chat. How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. Who are you? Or why? What happened? No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. Look, I gotta find the star map. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen any map. Just stinking, raking death. The cell calf, they went crazy. 
they started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems, too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere, and the Selkath came out screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. Selkath, you fought them. What happened to the scientists? Why? Why can't I ask the question? Why do you have an electric, like a, an electric dildo? They're dead, all dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I locked the door behind us, but. But the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Selkath. Like us. I didn't see anything. That doesn't mean it's not still out there. Watching. Waiting. Hmm, do I save him? I have to get into the station. No! I locked the door so the Selkath won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for! Call yourself a mercenary? If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead. If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Where did you go? How did you get back here without being eaten? I never left. Because I'm better than you? You just got lucky. Or, or it's waiting for me to go back before eating me. When the Republic sends a real team down... They'll save me. They'll kill the monster, and then we'll all leave safely. If you're going to go into the rest of the station, don't expect me to help you. The Selkath will rip you all apart. Pressure door. Activating airlock seal. Engaging airlock seals. Warning. Hostile environmental conditions. Environmental suit advised. You only have one environment row suit available. If you proceed through the airlock, all party members will have to stay behind until you return. Releasing airlock seal success. Here we go. Whoa, what the frick? Hello. Survivor? Get away, Who's there? Survivor. You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? Super suit. Where's my super suit? I'm Fran Solo. I'm Fan Solo. The Republic sent us down to investigate. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane cell caps killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The cell caps swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell caths. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. What are you doing in the underwater section of the facility? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's gotta be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. I still need to investigate. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. All right, then. No, no, you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the Selkath in. No, stay out. Stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them. Kill them now. 60 seconds to complete depressurization. What the? F Why did I talk to you? 54 <laughs> seconds to complete depressurization. <laughs> 48 <laughs> seconds to complete depressurization. 
No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Selkath are coming. No. No, no! Ah! Stop screaming. Ah, no! You, Sammy, Sammy, calm down. I don't think they're here to kill us. Uh, Kono, Kono, are, are they? Yes, I think they're here to help us. I, I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went Good crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frax and sharks just tore them apart. It was, it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew... Our Selkath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team? My team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me? I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the Selkath outside the doors every once in a while and strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. You were about to let me die. You try to kill me. Look, I'm sorry. I have just been under a lot of strain recently. You know, the whole thing about having my entire research team devoured before my eyes. Kono, up, Kono, calm down. Don't talk to him like that. We've gone through a lot, and we said we were sorry for the mistake we made. Just, I'm sorry for my actions, but but what are you doing here? How about I ask the questions? Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? Why did the self-cath go all crazy? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This, this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. Turned you on? Turned on you? Turned on? Turned on you? It was like they couldn't control themselves. Like the sound that the monster was making in our heads drove them insane. Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kulto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Like what? Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kulto. Would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kulto as a food source. And all those other Farax and sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. Storm app I'm looking for is out there. I need to get past. That would be suicide! It's out there still! Out there, waiting for us. So what can I do about it? The Farax and sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working Wait, this on a soluble a blood chemical elf? compound he does that something would drive them away. Elf. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. What does this compound do? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kulto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. How would I poison the shark? You can take this canister of toxin. 
We were working on it just before the giant shark drove all the Cellcath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. Vent? We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Faraxan shark. Okay, I'll vent the toxin into the rift. Well, what other choice do I have, though? I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. I'll do what I want. And I'll kill both of you as well. What? No! Run, Kono! He's one of them! Do you guys like my speedrun strats, though, that I can just avoid these guys? Now that the Colto harvesting machine has been destroyed, the Great Fraxon shows no sign of hostility. It allows you to pass. It still does no cutscene. Here it is, dude. The next star map. The submersible can be used to ascend to Auto City. Okay, let's do it. You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Cellcath went insane. Construction works on the way. Hmm, what'd I say? Your construction woke something up. Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? A gigantic Firaxton shark. It drove all the Cellcath insane. That's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? The harvesting machine was destroyed. No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? None of your business. I'll assume that means yes. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together in the future. Hmm. Okay. Greetings once again. I trust, should the truth be told, I'm uncomfortable even with us being seen together. The rumors are already plentiful enough among the Selkath about the Republic's role in this. Maybe a bribe would ensure my silence. Don't be foolish. If the Republic's role in this is discovered, I will be sure the blame rests on your shoulders as well. We share a secret, and we will share the consequences if the secret is revealed. For both our sakes, you should move on. Our conversation attracts undue attention. What? I got some questions about Otto City. A beautiful place, Otto City. A paradise on the water. But remember, within the city itself, the Selkath have absolute authority. They're a tough race, but fair. Obey the Selkath laws, keep the peace, and you should encounter no problems. I assume you received a visitor guide to the city when you docked your ship. I regret there is little I can tell you that's not in the visitor guide, my good Jedi. Well, I think I'll be going now. Then I shall wish you good day. On behalf of the Republic, I hope you enjoy your time here on the Nile. If I have the Republic, you can kiss my ass. Oh, oh, oh. Stop, human. We have detected a number of underwater detonations coming from the vicinity of the Rocket Rift. You have been known to have asked questions about this, and our spy monitors in the Republic Embassy recorded you having a submersible that descended to the Rocket Rift. You will come with us immediately to answer for your actions, or we will be forced to take you by force. You'll never take me alive. Do not be foolish, human. We have the entire armed forces of Mayan at our disposal. Should you attempt to resist, we will be overwhelmed before you ever reach your ship. Come with us. But if they can do that, the whole system could. Silence, this is not for outsiders to hear. Well, human, you find yourself in a most difficult situation. 
The Rocket Rift is the most precious resource on Manon, and anything that threatens it or the Koto it produces threatens our entire species. We will not tolerate threats to our neutrality, our existence, and our way of life. And as much as we may admire your republic and your order in particular, I believe you will have a hard time explaining your role in this incident adequately. We have determined that you are responsible for the detonations that occurred near the rocket rift, and we demand to know what occurred down there. And the Republic has broken its net, neutra- or its net neutrality treaty. <laughs> the repercussions shall be very grave indeed. What have you done with the rift? Lie. The Sith were trying to collapse the rocket rift. The Sith were down at the rift? But how could the Sith have been down at the rift? What? When we, we monitor the rift constantly, how could the Sith have approached it without us knowing? Lie again. Um, they had built a station down there already. Maybe they had some sort of cell field. Maybe some cell cath were helping them. Maybe some cell cath were helping them. Some cell cath? Cell cath would not help off worlders to destroy their most valuable resources. They have already attempted to seduce our young away from us. Who's to say they haven't corrupted someone else? Have you seen this human? Is this how you know of it? <laughs> I could say, I've been lying. <laughs> I really want to I really want to say I was lying and it was me. Do I click it? But then I'm I, do I load? I'll do it. Screw it. Well, I've been lying. It really wasn't the Sith. <laughs> what? I knew it. It was the Republic, wasn't it? The explosions were at the research station. Both our governments. <laughs> research station? What are you talking about? Don't lie to us, human. We know of this. What? It will be discussed later. This cannot be kept silent. The council will. The council will hear nothing of this. And you will keep your silence or be ejected from the court. But we cannot. Silence. What happened at the research station? What caused the explosions? The entire station had been driven mad. Mad? I find that hard to believe, human. We did receive those transmissions just before the station was there. Ask the human what happened. Well, human, what drove all the sentience down there mad? A giant, foraction shark was woken up by the harvester. Have you just forward the harvester to kill a giant for action? Could it be? Impossible. It's only a legend. But he said he killed it, didn't he? You killed the shark, human? The machine was making it drive everyone mad. The progenitor, it must have been. Be quiet. That is merely a myth and not fit for outsiders to hear. What if it was the life bringer? The ancestor of our species, think of what this could mean. If it always lived there, then perhaps the Colto. Enough. Our folders are not to hear of such things. But he said he saved it. He destroyed the harvesters to save it. Indeed, uh, this man cast your, your catch. Your catch. The court will adjourn while we deliver. <laughs> We have reviewed your actions on situation, human. We thank you for the destruction of the machinery and saving the giant for action, which we believe is the source of our culto, or at least its guardian. We will not detain you any longer, and while we cannot show our gratitude overtly, know that you have earned our respect. This trial is now over. Yo, let's go to Yavin. Man, what's up, dude? How are you, man? You read the comments out, you're spying too. It's kind of Sometimes I do. Thanks, pork yours. What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Carrot's vessel. My old mentor. 
Wait, I thought I was going to Yavin. <laughs>